What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Thing. This is part two of Republicans are the party of white nationalists, and we need to have situational awareness and watch out. If you haven't noticed, they're doing everything they can to be regressive and take away rights from people, not just black people, right? But everybody, right? Right? Look at the campaign they're on right now. Look at the things they propose within, within their states. Huh? Look at the actual policies that they promote. Look at the redistricting that they're trying to do. Redistricting. You know what redistricting is? Redistricting is when they change the maps so they can benefit them. Right? Because if too many black people move in a neighborhood, numbers, you know, equals power. So what do they do? They change the map so that those numbers don't count no more. We got white people, right? We got white people trying to create their own system because they don't want to be with black people. They don't want black people being able to dictate what it is they do in their community because the black people are becoming a bigger part of the community. They don't like that. They tell us how they feel all the time, yet we want to sit here and pretend like we don't know, right? We want to sit here and pretend like we don't know, but they're actually doing it. Now, devil's advocate. The Democrats too. Yes, the Democrats are globalists. The Democrats take advantage of us too. The Democrats, they have different agenda. They're not about racism. The Democrats used to be about racism when they were conservative Democrat Dixie cats like a hundred years ago. But today's Democrat Party are as a globalist party. They want to include everybody, which is an issue because they want to include everybody and everything. Meaning you can be a Jaguar cat dog and that's cool with them. You know what I mean? That's fine. You can be a Jaguar cat dog. You could be a man, woman, woman, man, cat, amoeba. And that's cool with them. You know, they call you can, we got to get a bathroom for them. You know, that's what they're about. It's whatever. They always got the blue and green hair. You can always recognize one with the blue and green short bob. All right. Anyway, that's the Democrats, but they're not racist. They don't make policies trying to hurt black people they don't make policies trying to slow black people's progression down they may make policies that don't benefit black people they may make policies that you know well no no most of their no they, yeah they make policies that benefit more corporations but both the democrats and republicans do that so they're both guilty of that but when it comes to when the powers that be, the rich folk, you know, the ones that created the tool of racism, you know, as uh, another mechanism to divide the races so that we're not mad at them, right? They sometimes allow things to happen because they got to keep the peasants happy, right? Got to keep the peasants happy. If you, you either keep them entertained or you got to keep them happy, right? Because if not, they're going to, they're going to, you know, it's going to be a mutiny, all right? It happens all the time. Look at France. You see what's happening in France? Huh? Because, you know, France, they ain't got enough people to, to pit against each other. So they just like, hey, we're going to take the government down, right? So the Democrats have their issues, but they're not the party of racism. They're not the party trying to actively destroy and disenfranchise black people. That's the thing. The Republicans are the party of white nationalist races. They're trying to, they're trying to protect and empower the white race. Okay? And any stupid-ass black person... Any stupid ass Asian who think by supporting the Republican Party that they are in turn going to support going to support them. I'm telling you, I bottle this water up and I sell it to you. You can drink it right out. You can drink it. You can just look. That's fresh water right there. You can drink that because you're dumb enough to do it straight up. You got to be an idiot. You got to be the idiot to think the Republican. The Republicans laugh at black black Republicans behind their backs. Cause they look stupid. They have no loyalty to their own people. And they sit there and they tout and they huff and puff and they stick their chest out like contrarians thinking that they, the single black Republican knows more than the 99.99% of their community that's going the other direction. They think that all of them are stupid and that that one Republican, he's the one who see the light. No, he's the coon. All right. He's the, he's that's, he's the coon and the clown. He's the court gesture. He's the dog under the table, right? Getting the butter biscuits with the honey honey butter on it right he get the honey butter slatter on his stuff we get the dry biscuits he get the honey butter biscuits you know that's the only thing he get and he get laughed at like a clown because that's what all of them are including the asian ones <laughs> they're cl asian people <laughs> the model minority ass they get laughed at them asian republicans get laughed at just like it was took they took the asian uh they took the asian to to help strike down this uh affirmative action thing like black people really give a 
fuck. You know why? Because shit, we can barely benefit from that shit. It was white women benefiting for that for the most part. So hey, they gonna have an issue. And if these Asians think these white folks gonna let them up in their college after they did <laughs> did their dirty work for them, guess what? Ha! <laughs> Sadly, fucking mistaken. But guess what? They gonna find that out. And one thing about black people is. We don't care. We like babies, kids. We don't die. We multiply and we will always survive because we cope. We've been doing this shit way longer than these white people and these Asians even been around. It ain't nothing but ain't nothing but thing. You know what I'm saying? It's grits and gravy over this joint, baby. You know what I'm saying? Do what y'all do. Affirmative action. Shit. We still going to be up in them colleges. And what excuse are them, them Republicans going to use now? Ah, these black folks. Because guess what? We get into school because of our merit. Because we're smart as shit. Because we're geniuses. We don't need affirmative action. We did need it. It's something that could help you know, turn the tide of the systemic racism within the system that's already built. White people have affirmative action. White people been on affirmative action. Their, their whole fucking system is built for them, affirmative action. Everything is for them. <laughs> the system is for them. So black people, I knew, and the thing is I knew when if, I knew all them black coon ass mo mofos were gonna come out on YouTube and celebrate that them losing, their people losing the ability to even the playing field because they all about it. Yeah, fucking black people, because they're coons, right? Despite what they call themselves, if they're coons, all right? Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to attach more, you know, proof that, you know, the Republican Party are the party of racists. We have black people who are white supremacists. We have Asian people who are white supremacists. The dogs under the table with the honey butter biscuit, right? And the majority of us black people, we're not crazy. We know what we're doing because we're intelligent and smart. And we be damned if we go over there to a party that does not have our best interest at hand at all. As a matter of fact, they have our worst interest at hand and they have an agenda to make sure that worst interest happens. That's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn some, teach them. I'm out. Here's video proof that Donald Trump and the Republicans are racists. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. These Trump supporters are so confident in their racism that now they're bragging about it on the national stage. This took place at a Donald Trump rally tonight in Illinois, and that is why I am calling it out. I am calling out your racism, Republicans. Dark aspect of the Republican Party. Yep. And that you wanted to look away from that. There were parts of the GOP that we have to look at and, and be honest about what it was. We didn't... We didn't, as a broad party, look at the people in parts of the, of the base in the South and parts of the Midwest who were not motivated by free markets or limited, or limited government or individual liberty. They were motivated by racial animus. And there is a part of it that's out there. We have to look at it honestly. And I looked back and I saw you know, Ronald Reagan years ago saying there's no place in this Republican Party for anti-Semitism or the Klan or racial hatred, and on and on and on. But we still had some of those people in the base, and we never purged them. We should have purged them. We never did it. Got to own it. Now, Donald Trump has played footsie with these people from the beginning. Remember, in the 2016 campaign, it took Donald Trump two and a half weeks to denounce David Duke. How do you denounce David Duke? You denounce David Duke instantaneously. You don't wait two weeks. Well, you did... Yeah. You did a lot to get Republicans elected, uh, to get them into power. Do you feel any sense of responsibility for promoting a party with those elements that were not purged? What's your role in all of this in the past?
The reason we have this immigration problem, and I don't mean the one that Donald Trump defines as a problem or that others define as a problem on the far right who were reactionary, you know, minute men at the border. I'm talking about the reason we have a narrative problem around immigration and the reason we have such vitriol aimed at folks coming across the border. But keep in mind, only one border, right? The minute men do not camp out in boats off the coast of Nova Scotia shooting at those crafty Canadians as they sneak into our country to take advantage of our superior health care. <laughs> they don't do that. It's just down there at that other border, which I beg to remind you is an artificial border created at the outcome of a war, which was a war of aggression started on false pretense by this country. Not what they taught us in eighth grade, but now that is what happened. So really folks are coming home. Can I get an amen? People are coming home. All right. All right. They're coming home. They're coming home and their families were here a long time before the vast majority of ours and yet we tell them that they don't belong. Very interesting. The reason this is even possible though is because of the narrative we've told about how we, and now I'm talking about those of us of European descent, because black folks know how they got here. Right? A lot of Asian folk know how they got here. A lot of folks were brought over, particularly Chinese folk, to work the railroads, didn't care how many of them died. Right? Indigenous folks know how they got here. Right? But white folks have told a fiction. Right? White folks' story has basically been this. Our people came for liberty and freedom. We came for principles like that. Those people are just coming for stuff. Right? That's what we say in so many words. We came for principles. They're coming for stuff. Let's clear this up. We did not come for liberty and freedom. And I know this because if we had come for liberty and freedom, we would have established liberty and freedom. And I don't just mean... And I don't just mean with regard to people of color, I mean each other. Like, white folks spent a lot of time in the colonies just trying to figure out who was the bigger witch, right? Like, we just would kill each other. We, you know, it wasn't like one big happy white family. It was just, you're not a good enough Christian? No, you're not a good enough Christian. No, you're not a good enough Christian? Now I'm going to drown you because you're a warlock. I mean, that was the kind of, like, in a nutshell, that was the colonial experience. So that was not schoolhouse rock, right? Yeah, right? So we didn't establish liberty and freedom even vis-a-vis -vis one another. Let's be honest, we came for stuff. We came for stuff like opportunity, stuff like land, stuff like the ability to survive because things weren't working back home. Like we need to be honest about, like our people were the losers of Europe. And I, and, and I don't mean that, to, I'm not trying to be judgmental or harsh, I'm just being honest. Like when Donald Trump says Mexico's not sending their best, okay, you think England sent their best? <laughs> The hell? I think it's time we recognize Republicans for who they are. It was Republicans that helped insurrectionists plan the attack on our U.S. Capitol. Then those same Republicans tried to deny it was an insurrection, and one even said, hey, they seem like nice law-abiding people. But had they been black, boy, I would have been worried then. They're pretty much ignoring the attacks on our Asian community. And they're doing everything they can to hinder people of color voting in our elections. Now, to me, that seems like a racist terrorist organization. Now, some Republicans will say, oh, no, that's not me. I'm a good guy. Yeah, but you stood by them. You voted with them. You stayed silent. And, of course, you remember that old quote, silence is violence. I don't know. But walks like a duck, talks like a duck. Gotta be a duck. Just a reminder that Nikki Haley changed her name because racism doesn't exist in the GOP. It does. That's just so Republican. No, the entire point of the Republican Party is to serve the rich. Racism is just a tool that they use to get people to vote for them. So they get tax cuts for the rich, okay? The tax cuts for the rich is the end. The, the, all the hatred that comes along with the Republican voters is just a means to that end. But you know what, I guess for the couple of guys who are surprised out of the hundreds that are going, slight credit to them because apparently they're the, the saps at the party who are like, wait, aren't we supposed to be for the working class? No, you schmucks, no you're not. Name one policy position of the Republicans that would favor the working class. There isn't a single one, nobody could even pretend that there's one. 
Uh, oh, well, how about higher wages? We're gonna get higher minimum wage. No, they hate the minimum wage. They say the lower minimum wage. All right, health care, so they, their kids don't die, etc. Universal health care like every other country. Oh, no, we hate it. We don't want you to get health care. All right, I'm gonna address the N-word situation thing that's been giving me hundreds of hate comments. Did you guys guess it? Of course she's a conservative. Of course she's a Republican. She wants you to vote red. She wants you to vote Kanye West 2024. It's always the conservative people, no matter what race they are, who is blatantly just ignorant and I guess Kanye West fan. Just look at her feed. It's all about like the woke people who's just so offensive to her apparently. But she doesn't get that. She is the offensive one. Which is the rhetoric for all the conservatives that I've seen. They're just so offensive and they don't get it. And she's constantly talking about black people like Kanye West, DC that's on here. If she doesn't think it's offensive, do you think she would say it to their face? Because what is this bullshit? Black folks, we done stole and robbed ourselves out of a fucking resource. Hey, sister, I got a question for you. What proof do you have of what you're saying is true? And I'm going to tell you the proof that you have. You have a so-called white man telling you that the stores are closing because of this. And then when you, all you have to do is do your research and you find out that Walmart is closing 21 stores this year. And you might ask yourself why they're closing these stores since you didn't do your research and you don't know what you're talking about. And it's not black people's fault. <laughs> they're closing stores because they don't need all these stores anymore. They're going to drones. Go look up Walmart. Just Google this. Walmart drones deliver packages in Arkansas. And you're going to see many states in there that they delivered packages. They already did a pilot last year. So they don't need many stores anymore to do this. But you know what's so amazing to me since I let you know the truth and why they're closing stores? What's so amazing to me is how... You guys, especially black women, will get on here and tell me how bad the white man is and he's this and he's that, which I don't think so. But you, you say this a lot, a lot. But then all they got to do is give you a negative stat about your people. You didn't even think once. Maybe this is set up. Maybe this bull jive. Maybe this is crap. Because it is. It's a load of crap that you don't even have evidence to. So before you start getting on here and spewing bull crap that you don't know anything about, just start thinking like, okay, so are black people the cause of all the malls closing? Well, maybe so, because you know, black people, that's all we do is steal. You see, you see how that sounds? Are the black people the, the reason why Walmart is, uh, is closing 21 stores? Well, because all we do is steal. <laughs> no, we're not, sister. You don't know what you're talking about. You need to delete that video because that makes us and you look bad, too, with that little clown suit on that you call a job that ain't nothing but hunting you know what but you know you being your family i guess but you're gonna be out of a job too soon sister you got three to five years to have that job and you're gonna be out here policing in the metaverse <laughs> guess what i love you police officers because y'all gonna be out of jobs baby Woo it's coming y'all gonna be out of jobs because the ai has facial recognition so when you go across the street and you have digital money all of a sudden, they could just take it out your account. They don't need police officers anymore. They don't need that many. But that's going to be because of black people too, I'm sure. <laughs> too much crime because of black people. <laughs> you have a nice day, sister. You're a shame, man. You you should you should literally go and hide, man, because you think you do. You think you got on there saying something, did you? <laughs> Not that smart. <laughs>